everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? I think so. Oh, man. Uh, but thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time to relax and craft together. Uh, so tonight we are continuing on the lion embroidery. Uh, we got the little outline done. There's a little more to do with the outline. We got the eyes and the um, little paw finger things. Uh, lines to go and then um, then we can start on the turkey work. So that's that really fluffy stitch uh, it's, And we're gonna do that with all my little scrap plop of floss here um, So I'm excited to give that a try it might be a little weird uh, <laughs> Using all this scrap floss because it's not all gonna be the same length I'm not quite sure how we'll handle that, uh, but we will figure it out. So all right, let's get stitching Okay, I'm gonna scoochie on over here Okay, there we are. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay, so here is where we left off. Uh, we got his little nose and these little hairs and his ears done besides the outline. So I have just his eyes and his little toe lines to do. Um, and then, I mean, there's the roar and the L's yet, but I'm going to skip those for now. And I'm going to go right to... Uh, the turkey work. So you can tell that I did not use the iron-on transfer for this this time. I did the, um, I did, uh, I, with the, I, I traced it with a water-soluble marker. So I didn't draw all of the lines in, like all of the lines for the main. I just drew, uh, you can kind of see it in the blue, uh, basically a circle around it. So that's kind of where I want the turkey work to land. And I did the same thing with the tail. I didn't draw all the lines. I just kind of drew the shape of it. And that's why I traced it instead of ironed it on because I didn't want those extra lines um, to be seen afterwards because um, I wasn't going to be stitching directly over them. So I have my little orange piece from yesterday. And oh, you guys, why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt? <laughs> I've been in the basement where it's cooler and it is not as cool up here. So back to short sleeves. Okay. Let's thread the needle here. Oh, thanks, uh, Jessica. Zoop. All right. Uh, all right. The little baby toe lines here. I'm like, what did I thread this orange for? What are we doing here even? I want to try and get through these toes and the, the, um, I might need a new piece of thread too. Ugh, I hope not. Um, I'm going to try and get through the toes and the eyes as quick as I can so I can get on with the main, uh, which is the turkey work. So I'm just going to try and go real quick through here. Do we ever figure out what these little toe lines are called? Little kitty paw spaces, <laughs> spacers. Um, all right, I'm not sure I want to jump all the way across because you can kind of see that stitch from behind. So I'm going to just kind of, this is maybe silly because I don't have tons of thread, but like I'm going to go up and around and come back down. And then we'll get the next little toes, toe nubbins, that's what we're going to call them. So uh facebook for some reason it doesn't look like i can see your comments again Ugh. i might have to reinstall it or something i don't know how that maybe i'll just have to log out and log back in um so i'll do that before tomorrow going live tomorrow so i can see comments on tiktok and youtube yet though but yeah um i think you guys can probably see comments like your guys's comments but i can't see it here for some reason because Facebook's being a jerk butt, that's what's happening. All right, I like this bright orange. A little bitty pop of color. Okay, two more of these little lines. I think we have just enough floss for that. We got a shimmy sham to that side again. Just traveling through the backs of the stitches. Kind of keeps it clean looking too. All right, and last two. All 
right, let's do those eyes. Well, let's weave these in and then do those eyes. Okay. So one, oh shoot, I hate when I do that. I'm just trying to go fast and I'm just getting clumsy instead. I accidentally pulled the needle out. Oh, happy Tuesday, Amy. So I, I literally, before I go on, I always have to like remember like, oh my gosh, what day is it today? Uh, and I forgot to remember to think about what day it was today. And in my brain, it's Wednesday, but I'm like, wait a second. I don't think it's actually Wednesday. So Tuesday, that's good. All right, that's done. I'm gonna do the eyes in this black, I think. This is actually a really long piece of black. Um, what do we got in here? We have, I must have a, sm a shorter piece of black. That seems excessively long. We must have been, I don't know, doing something with that black. Here we go. Using the scrap. Oh, this is like the perfect length for those two eyes though. Um, I think that's the challenge. Oh, do I do customs? Um, I don't do customs. However, I do have an embroidery of the month and, uh, um, ever, and I, and I take recommendations <laughs> and sometimes if someone wants wants like a certain design every once in a while it will turn up as an embroidery of the month but i don't do um i don't do uh, custom work but i you know that doesn't mean i wouldn't ever do that <laughs> so sort of depends i suppose Yep, this is supposed to look like it's, this would be like good for like a little kid's room or something like that. All right, so um, this is gonna be my last stitch on this side. I left this strand out, cause that's, I'm gonna actually use that to finish the doing the first stitch and then, um, then I will be uh, weaving in that end. Oh, so is this gonna be for sale? So no, so I, this is actually one of my patterns. I have uh, like a whole alphabet of patterns. Um, this is the iron pattern, but there's like digital versions as well. And we are working through, I do lives every night and we are working through the entire alphabet. And uh, like we got a whole pile of them done already. I'm going, going in order. So we're doing the whole alphabet um, of animal, of letters that I have with animals. And uh, we are making it into a quilt and a, a, a portion of the sales of the patterns. And um, and then the quilt we're gonna be auctioning off. That won't be till like next year though, cause that's how long this is gonna take. Um, but that we're gonna be auctioning and then the money from that auction and then the money from the, the sales of the pattern are gonna go to the Minneapolis crisis nursery in town here. All right, one little eye. But nope, I, uh, um, Penguin and Fish is uh, my embroidery kit company. So we do, we do embroidery patterns and kits um, and some supplies. Our embroidery of the month is what we'll be doing next, next month or next week we'll be stitching and that's the Luna Moth here. And the embroidery of the month always, always comes with a freebie. And uh, this month's freebie is this cute little blank, um, blank greeting card uh, with a little, you know, has a little envelope too. But that is what we'll be stitching next week. So this week we're finishing up the letter L. Um, so we do the alphabet two times a, two times a month. 
Uh, the first week is a letter, and then the second week of the month is a letter. Oh, but we're, we're a week late um, this week, or this month. Because um, we had, like, the holidays and all that. Fourth of July. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to use the threader. I cut this a little too short. Let's get the threader out. Just can't do the pinch method. When is this short? Get in there. There we are. Maybe didn't have quite enough floss to do this, but... Ooh, okay. Just weaving in the end. I think I'll just... We'll probably just leave it just like that. Okay, um, what did I do with that other piece of floss right here? Now, this is looking a little short now, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I think I might just weave into this edge and do the stitches instead of like leaving that bit hang out, just because I don't have much floss. I think this will be a little bit easier. Oh, Nelly, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm here every night just chilling. I was talking last night. I wish I could have music. Um, I might have to do like a Saturday or something just on TikTok where I have music. I'm here Monday through Friday, um, but I'm also on YouTube and Facebook and I'll get flagged for having music <laughs> in the background. So... So no music during the week. But yeah, this is my time of the day to just chill and hang out with all of you, all of you guys here. Oh, Joe's asking, am I thinking about starting any more quilts? I am thinking about finishing a few quilts. <laughs> so uh, uh god we have so many quilts started that i don't have finished yet so there's still the um granny square quilt i gotta bring that one out i i just that's been waiting for me to do a video i literally have like three quilt ties to do on that and then like a label and then that's done and then uh, um so that's the closest to being done then i have the triangle tango quilt from a zillion years ago that we have to just quilt but I wanted to do like a fun big design for that and I wanted to like draw it all out first but no I'm not sure if I'm wild on that idea anymore but I don't know so I got to think about that uh, we have the orophil block of the month quilt to quilt um, that one actually needs a back made for it yet we've been sewing together um, sewing together excess fabric for the back but that's not done what else oh the i love home quilt is still sitting out there too i was thinking about maybe working on that a little bit this week and it's at my my parents house um so if it's like god awful hot out when we're there maybe i will quilt on that instead so what's that that's like four right so <laughs> my goal is to finish those. Well, and then this one. Uh, oh, and then the Splendid Sampler too. Oh my God, you guys, there's tons of quilts. I cannot start another quilt yet. <laughs> all right, we have all of the line art for the guy done. Now we're gonna do that turkey work. Um, let's, let's just do like a little practice on the tail and then we'll, we'll do the rest for the mane. So and I'm gonna use all like my excess fluff here. So I think my goal is to have about six strands that I'm working with at any one time and I should use like a more variety of colors I think um, and actually now that I'm thinking this might only take a few bits so let's let's get some fun colors going on here maybe this tan and blue these both look kind of long and that's about five strands uh, the trick is um, when I'm using up all of this thread is that um, they kind of have to start out at the same length. So I'm going to just kind of trim as I go and get pieces that are sort of the same. Um, we'll see how that goes. So those are the same. I'm just thinking let's add one more strand. Oh good, this one's really long. This is one strand of brown. Then I'll have actually six strands. 
So turkey work. Ooh, this is all tangled funny. Oh, this is, oh, this is two strands. Okay, never mind. Um, turkey work is, um, hold on. <laughs> I can't think and pull out strands. This is going to be the challenge, like I was thinking, was just like, how are we going to get pieces together? Ugh. Hold on. Because usually I'm starting with all different, all, um, or I'm usually starting with the same. Ooh, that's kind of close. Let's do these three together. So this is seven strands, so that's kind of a lot to pull through the fabric and the needle, but we're going to give it a, give it a go. I'm going to cut these a little shorter. But turkey work is that fluffy stitch. So for example, this is the, um, turkey work we did for the, um, tail of the, um, elephant and you know it stands up tall it's just kind of cute so I'm just going to kind of run through <laughs> kind of what turkey work is uh, I like to think about it as a as two rows of back stitches next to each other that I'm doing at the same time so I'll do a stitch like this and then I'll do the next back stitch there then I'll go up to row one and do a back stitch then row two do a back stitch and I'm offsetting it um, kind of like like bricks but here's here's the trick this top row or row one I'm actually gonna leave really loose so those are actually gonna be big loops and then my second row is just gonna be a back stitch and that's gonna hold down that loop and then the next loop and then like a back stitch and a next loop back stitch next loop back stitch to hold it in uh, and then we will cut those loops later and then that's what will um, give it all its fluff and then we're just gonna do we're gonna fill in a space like that so that's like the first section and then we just do it again so I have uh, a loop and then a back stitch a loop and a back stitch loop and a back stitch so we'll have like a bunch of layers of these loops um, theoretically so um, I, it, I always feel like a little confused doing it so I'm, I'm sure I'm you know missing a little bit of an aspect of it but it does the job and I'll have to I'm, I'm trying to practice more I haven't done it that much Ooh, that is a lot of strands one two three four five six seven yeah that's a good seven strands okay and I actually start from the top because I want the the tail end of this to hang out that'll be part of our fluff all right so this is gonna be our first stitch of turkey work all right so I'm gonna leave all that hanging out we'll just let it be like I don't need it to be that long because I don't want this tail that long but like that so that's our first bit and then we need to do that back stitch this is like that row two that back stitch that kind of crosses over it that kind of locks it down like so and now we do like that back stitch in the first row I'm only this is gonna be it though um, for this row uh, just because I don't need much right here uh, so I'm gonna go you know I'm doing the back stitch going back to the floof part and I'm gonna come back down but this is that first row part so I actually need this to stay in like a little bit of a loop here like I want I want all this to hang out there and again we don't need it that long I don't think and then I'm gonna just do a tiny little back stitch over the top there um, just to lock that down so that's kind of like my first row it's two rows it's like the the loopy row and then the the back stitch row um, but we're gonna just do that again I'm gonna just start on on the set again it's a little bit easier for me I think so let's do um, a loop so I'm just a little further down I think I start and stop in a weird spot for this but we'll get it all right I'm leaving that little loop and let's do our back stitch over it and I think I'm gonna fluff this up and trim this one right away just so we can see what the turkey work is gonna look like um, before moving on to the main but what we're doing here is basically what I want to do for this whole main so it's gonna take whew, gonna take a bit of time but I think it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be a fun project Oof. come on 
guy. There we go. It's tough with the, because I have so many strands of floss here, but it'll allow us to work faster and it'll be floofier. All right, I think we need one more row. Let's try starting from this side here. I'm trying to offset the floofs a little bit. Okay, let's lock it down. ourselves another floof. We'll do three floofs in this row. And I think that'll be plenty for his little tail here. So the um, for the main, oops, I'm going to leave the floofs longer um, just because I think I want to cut the main a bit longer than, than what we're doing here. Okay, I'm going to lock that stitch down, and then I think I can just come out. I should have just um, done this earlier, but I can just come out maybe in like that same spot or so, or like under one of these back stitches. Um, let's just come out there, sure. <laughs> uh, because I can just trim this guy. He can be on the outside. So, all right, so there we have... Uh, this is what turkey work looks like uh, when you get started, but now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut into all of those loops. I'm going to make sure I get all of them. Oops, there's one down there. Did I get them all? I don't think so. You guys are hiding in here. There we go. All right, and now I can floof it up. Um, you can run like a needle through it. I have like a little um, hairbrush here. Ooh, something's not cut yet. Oh, I missed one. Where'd you go? There. I have this little round brush that I like, um, like an old, old round brush that I like keeping it, keeping near me and it, I can just brush brush these out. And what we're doing is it's basically separating all the floss. Uh, does the back stitch go through the same previous hole as the floof? Um, I do the back stitch like, like a, a hair level down. So if the floofs are right here, I'm doing the back stitch row like right below it. So not in the exact same spot, um, just right below it. So they're kind of like touching. But there we go. And now we can like trim him because he's crazy looking. Let's Give you a little baby haircut. We're gonna floof everywhere by the time we're done here. Well, actually, this is probably it because I will, um, I won't cut all the the main turkey work until until we're completely done. I could have probably done another row, but I, I don't want to. Like, I feel like it could have been a little, a little longer, but I think we're actually fine. Um, I don't want to take away from the main. So I'm going to leave that just like that, like so, and I can always come back and trim it more later uh, once we have the main done. But it's so floofy, floofy. We got a little, little bit of tail there. So cute. Um, Yep, so that's basically what we're gonna do for the whole main. <laughs> and I've never done that much turkey work before, so this this will be a little interesting. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm actually gonna just like let's just keep using this short piece of thread. Let's let's just see how this goes. Um, I, I it's gonna be like totally multicolor because I'm gonna use all my scraps up first, which again is gonna be a challenge from the standpoint of these aren't all the same length. Um, so I need to kind of like get it as much the same length as I can, oops, um, to do it, which is going to be annoying. Um, and then I don't have, like I have my, um, my main pieces of floss that I have all on bobbins here. I don't necessarily want to use all of this up though, because I think it's going to take a lot. Um, 
but I do have a whole stash of excess floss um, that I might end up using. Okay, I'm wondering, okay, I need a strategy for this. I'm kind of thinking, you know, because this, the spot between the main here is a lot less than here. So I'm wondering if I should just like kind of fill in here and then like kind of treat it like I'm going around a big round thing. I think that might be a good idea. So like treat like, like if I connected here, I'll even draw it out. If I connect the ears, for example, like so, I could fill in this space and then I could go like around the whole thing twice, or maybe three times, and then that would be plenty, I think. So yeah, let's start that. So I'm gonna give him a little, a little mohawk um, to start out with. And I think I'm gonna work, I'm gonna have to work this way because that's how my brain can think about this. So let's see, all right, I'm gonna go a little bit away from our backstitch here. So hopefully this works. I haven't done anything like this before. So we'll give it a go. So the first little floofs are gonna be the same floof as before. And oh, that's right, I do wanna leave these a little longer because I don't know exactly how um, big I want this mane to be. Ugh, but I don't want it so long that it's gonna take even more floss. We'll go right there. All right, so um, that's like my first loop, even though it's not a loop, it's just the like coming from the top. And then it, I'm doing this back stitch like right underneath it. So not in the exact same row, I'm kind of offsetting the, the um, single piece there. Uh, all right, so then let's do the next one. This is like our first, our first loop basically. So it's almost like we're doing another back stitch but we're so now now the back stitch is going into that same as the first stitch so i i do like thinking about it as working on two rows sim simultaneously so like a stitch on row one a stitch on row two a stitch on row one a stitch on row two so i'm back to my stitch on row one and that stitch on row one is going to go back in the same spot as the first stitch on row one. Oh my gosh but yeah it's a lot of floss to pull through Okay, and let's do our little back stitch. So this is the row two now. And I think this might be all we're gonna get from this one. And I'm gonna just kind of come up at the next spot. Oh, I can probably get another one out of there. Let's do it. And this is gonna take me days, you guys, I think. So I'm, I'm happy we got done with the outlines um, quickly. Ugh. Okay, maybe I can't go around again here. Forgot, turkey work takes tons of floss. So I'm gonna actually pull this out, this last stitch. And I think I'll just let that be there. So I'm, I'm gonna trim it a little bit so it's not in my way. There we go. And uh, now I'm gonna get my next, uh, so we got our first couple loops. Uh, I will kind of like push those up um, in the end. Uh, but I, I do like having the back stitches on the back because then you won't, won't see them. So I like, I like thinking about it that way that um, I'll be like folding it back a little bit. Um, but anyway, so we got the start of his little hairs up there. Let's um, pick out a bunch more floss. So. Let's see how that goes. Oh, see now that's the thing. Like I'm gonna have like so many little short pieces. So this might just be like super annoying to do it this way, but we're gonna still give it a try. Okay, that's three strands. I should just put all the shorties somewhere as I pull them out. That's a decent length. Okay, that's not bad. Three, okay, so we got like seven here. That's, that's good. That's what we did the last time. Definitely don't want to do more than seven. So I'm just grabbing colors that are sort of the same length. Cause this is just gonna be a mix mash, mishmash of color. All right, and then I do have to trim them the same length. So this little green piece I might still be able to use, but that first little piece, probably not. 
Okay, let's thread these. Okay, and continue on this. So I'm going to treat that first, like where I where I left off that little piece. I'm going to pretend that that's like the first part of the loop, and then this is going to be the second part of the loop. And then I will do the little back stitch. I'm just holding these down so they don't come back. Like I don't pull them to the back. <laughs> this is already just so silly. I like it. All right, so this is like that row two now, which is going to be that back stitch. I think the reason, like I, I had heard of turkey work for a while, but I never did it until recently. And the reason in my head <laughs> always was, oh my God, I'm going to use up so much floss to fill in that space and it's going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone do that? But it looks so cool. Uh, like all the fluff just sitting on your on the surface of your design and it's just like so cute. Um, I gotta remember to keep these kind of long because I think I want the mane a little long. So I get it now. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a while till we get all this all of, do, all of it done. And I honestly think if we let it, we could probably use up all of the rest of our floss for this. Uh, but, oops. I'm pulling some of that thread down. Oh, there we go. But that's why I'm going to grab my other scraps out. I think that's going to be helpful. I have a whole scrap bin of thread I collected from just other projects because I, I just don't wind it on the bobbin or put it away or anything. I just kind of throw it in a bin. So tomorrow I'll get that out. We'll work through the cloud of floof today and then then tomorrow I'll open the new one or get the... Oh, whoops. That was supposed to be long. Get back up there. Forgot that I was doing turkey work already. Sheesh. Okay. All right. So this is going to kind of lock down this last stitch, and then I'm going to start the second row, and we're going to go the other way. And then I, I probably only get like one stitch out of that. Okay, and I am trying to offset the first row a little bit. Oh, whoops, you gotta be long. Stay long. There we go. And our back stitch to hold those in place. And then I think I'll be coming up with the excess floof and we'll get, get more floss. So we went through that whole thing of floss already. And those are pretty long pieces. Trim you. <laughs> it's going to look so crazy until it doesn't. So uh, we can kind of imagine it a little bit um, already. We'll be cutting all these loops so it's all just kind of long. But <laughs> he's got a little, his little hairs up there. That's funny. All right. Let's pick out some more random colors here. Okay, this gray is a, eh, it's not that long. Maybe as long as this orange. Eh, that's close. What else? How about this blue? That 
a decent length. Okay, I like it. So three, ooh, that's four strands. Four strands. I think maybe we'll just do, I'm gonna get rid of the gray. I don't wanna go over seven strands because it's already hard to, and I should just be doing six strands, but I already did. Um, I, but the first one I did was seven, so I'm just kind of sticking with seven now. Yep, that's seven strands. So these two guys are our next combo. Oh, I gotta trim the length so it's the same. I could just leave all that hang out, but that's just gonna be annoying. Okay, next row, we already started. Let's go back down here. So I'm setting it on the table a lot, you'll notice, because I feel like I need that extra surface to hold things down. So this would be a way easier stitch to do in a stand, I'm thinking, where I can have both hands kind of free. Because so fe I'm feeling like I need the one hand to hold the stitches back, and then the other to stitch. All right, next. Like this part, just to kind of hold my loop. And hold all the other loops out of the way. I'm trying not to have the the previous or like this row of loops be super I mean it is super close to the row before but I'm not like right up against it because I just don't think I'll need to be that close is what I'm hoping I'm thinking I'll get the effect of a lot of fur um, without that okay without being like so close so there's like a little gap, like if you pulled the, the rows apart, there'd be a tiny gap between these loops and then the back stitches that came before. See, all these other loops just want to get in the way, that's why I'm trying to hold them back. All right, I think one more loop will do, and then we'll s jump up to the next row. Eh. Can maybe get one more, one more loop out of this. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do eh, I probably have enough for one more yeah so let's do one more I'll start the next row here So the plan, again, is to fill this little space in between the ears and then just go around in a circle, like around, around the whole head. And then I think we'll have that effect of like um, the mane at the top here being a bit longer than the bottom. All right, there. Now this is that piece I'm gonna pull out. 
give him a snip. <laughs> he's got he's got some curly bangs here. But we'll brush those back eventually. <laughs> it's just a mix of crazy. This is gonna look ridiculous, you guys, but in the in a cute way, I think. So I at least like I don't want it to like fold down like that and then he has like a huge like bald spot, right? So that's why I wanna go um, like filling in the spot in between the ears. And then we'll go, maybe we'll just go around twice. We'll see what that looks like. Because that might be plenty length. It might not be th thick, like as thick as if we went all the way out here. But we could have it just um, be thinner, but like longer. And it's still going to look, it's still, still going to have bulk on top because we do have a lot on top. So, I don't know. I think it's working so far. <laughs> It's gonna be so silly. I'm glad we got uh, his little tail done though, because then we can get a sense of like what what the rest of it's gonna look like. Um, all right, we need more floss. Um, let's see if we can get some longish pieces out of here again. This guy looks promising. Nope. Um, oh, this gray piece. That's what we had before. That was longish. Ooh, real long. Great. Orange. Oh, that's like extra, extra long. Maybe too long. If we could find a couple other pieces that long, that'd be cool. All right, that's kind of a shorty. This one's not bad. Ooh, that's pretty long. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of the gray because that's not as long as these. I want to find extra long ones. Eh, that's more about the length of the gray. Let's just get a few matchings. This goes, we go through this floss though quickly that we get a couple pairings going already. Ugh, that is still quite a bit shorter. Ooh, are you long? No. No. I like doing the sorting of oh, what I got left in here. Ooh, this blue looks promising. Yeah, okay. This and the orange for sure. Not sure about that purple because that's not... Oh wait, the purple was pretty long. But is this longer? I think it is. Yes, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. But that purple isn't quite as long as the others. Hmm. I want one extra long piece. These are all short. Well, maybe that's it for our super duper long pieces. I might just bail on all this, oh, I don't know. I suppose we'll keep using this stuff for a while. All these pieces are about the same length. So the super long ones look like they're done. Ooh, maybe this one's long. Ooh, yeah, that's super long. Okay, good, that's gonna be our piece instead of this purple, which isn't as long as these other ones. Okay, that's kind of a mass of stuff that we can use for our next grouping. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you, seven. I could, Catherine, that's, I mean, I could. Um, I could clip the loops out on the way. Then we could kind of see what it looks like. I don't think it looks like really nice until you trim it. I'm kind of trying to think about in my head, like what would mitigate, oh, let's just thread this right away. What would be the best to like keep them out of the way while I work on them? And in my head, it's by um, kind of keeping them as loops. <laughs> So I think I think for now I'm gonna stick to that. 
All right, this is gonna be a real long one. So we'll probably um, do this one until until we run out, and that'll probably be it for the day. But this is a good long piece, a really long piece. This might be the rest of his forehead. We'll see. Ugh, I don't know. There's a lot to do yet here. Okay, coming in from the front. <laughs> I do feel like I'm sewing. Uh, stitching in, like, someone's hair, or, like, giving someone hair plugs or something. Alright. Oh, I already have the back stitch. That's why I'm like confused. Okay, so Oh wait no, the back stitch is here. Alright. I got it. I was confusing myself. Alright, so this is that back stitch. Let's do the next loop de loop. doesn't need to be that long. There we go. All right, next row. That last one was kind of far away, so I'm going to go a little closer with this one. It's gonna be fun snipping all of these though, for sure. It's gonna look like those pom-poms that, that we make out of all the excess floss. Yeah, he has the like little loopy curly bangs. Alright. Almost done with this row and pretty quick. So it's nice to work with the long, long piece. And actually I'm I'm just like keeping my hand down here and keeping all the my other loops out of the way. I think that's been helpful. Alright, I'm gonna hop up to the next row. There. Oh, this thread's getting so short already. That was like the longest piece we're gonna have, and it's we're going through it quick. Yeah, man. If you want to use up f floss quick, this is the way to do it. Dang, I'm just thinking, I have so much, um, I have cones of floss, so I know a lot of you guys who've been with me for a while know that I have, like, those, like, they're, like, 2,200 or something meters of, of floss or something on, on cones. They're huge, and I, and I love them, <laughs> but I don't use them. Um, now that we have our own floss, I don't use them as much anymore. It would be fun to do, like, a whole pile of turkey work, like, all over a quilt or something. Um... And, and, uh, use floss from one of those cones or something. 
<laughs> I don't need more ideas. But could you imagine that? Like, imagine, like, a white quilt. Like, a whole cloth white quilt with maybe some hand quilting in just because. And then, like, tufts of, like, green grass blobs everywhere or something, right? <laughs> that's, my, that's my random, random turkey work idea. <laughs> my three-second turkey work idea. But that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That'd be a crazy art piece. Yeah, Genesis, this, this uh, stitch is magic. I cannot believe it works. That's kind of my feeling, too. Like, it's crazy to me that it kind of stays in place. And I mean, it, this back stitch is kind of holding it there. But still, that just still seems crazy. I guess maybe it's actually a lot like... Um, a lot like a punch needle, where the actual thickness of the thread is pushing up against the other thickness of the thread so it's all like holding itself in and if you lose one piece you lose all of it sort of thing I don't know maybe it's that concept a little bit because all of them are so close and we're using a lot of floss that it just ends up being um, holding itself together I don't know all right, this is going to be our last uh, loopy stitch with this. So we'll do the back stitch, and then I'll just pull it out so that, you know, our excess is on the top. Ooh, gosh, barely enough. I think we'll just come out right near this last one. Ooh, there we go. I... Yeah, I'll still trim that. So it's not quite so annoying. Boop. All right. <laughs> Look at him now with his bangs. Oh my god. Oh, little Brittany is like Dr. Seuss uh, truffle trees. <laughs> exactly. All right. So he's he's gonna get his his uh, bangs pushed back a bit um, once we have the rest of the stitches and once we just keep brushing it a little bit. <laughs> He looks crazy, uh, but uh, but you get the idea, right? So soon, um, we're close to the tops of the tops of the ears. So maybe, yeah, th in theory, two more rows. But I think maybe I can stretch it and just be like one row. Eh, I think it's still probably two rows, and then we'll go around the whole like oval um, a couple times, like at least two, um, potentially three, and maybe we'll actually like make it even a little bit more around his cheeks like around here or something but anywho that is uh the turkey work stitch again here's it done we did the, this little floof and trimmed it and brushed it out and everything uh i want these pieces to be a bit longer it's still gonna be kind of layered though because you know these loops will be shorter than the loops in the back and um i kind of like we'll, we'll have to keep that sort of like layered look so we can get all the like fun color coming through but this is wacky. I like it. <laughs> I do actually kind of like it like this. His little, his little like straight, floofy, <laughs> uh, round bangs. His little like I don't know, '90s bangs. It's actually a little. It's like a, a um, like a Beatles haircut almost. If we trim it, but just just his bangs kind of punk right he's got a shaved head and he's got his like fun bangs <laughs> kind of unicorn unicorn hair maybe we brush it to the side he could part it there he's styling it now a little bit there we go there <laughs> floof it up a little bit there just oh my gosh should just stop right there it's cute <laughs> all right you guys Anywho, all right, so we'll stop there for tonight. Um, uh, we do have a few more minutes, but I think this is a good stopping point. There's our little floofy floof hair. 
Um, <laughs> so, all right, so we will continue this for the next few days for sure. I mean, this is obviously uh, gonna take a long time. We spent almost the whole time on that today. Not the whole time though, so uh, maybe it won't actually take forever. Um, it will at least take Wednesday and Thursday though to finish this up, but I think it's looking like so crazy and fun. Uh, it's gonna be neat when it's done, I think. So, awesome! So thanks again, everyone! I will be back here again tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and we'll make more hair fluff. Alright, have a lovely evening. Good night!